could write all kinds of numbers on this check. There's a new feature on this show. It's here. It's now. It's game day. And here we are once again, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, back in action on this Tuesday night as we welcome Real Bedford, who will be making the half-hour journey down the A1 in this Tuesday night league game, where it's Letchworth with Garden City Eagles v Real Bedford in the Spartan South Midlands Division 1 at Pixmoor Playing Fields. So about a couple of people sending a few letters Send in a bit of support for these videos. Let's read what they've got to say. Oi, loud mouth, you fat. Can't read that word out. You keep banging on about sponsors. Why don't you ask the Big Coin chairman to sponsor you? He's got a couple of quid. You want to sponsor us? From Frank, age 13. Another letter. You keep going on about having no money. Why don't you try selling your dogs from your mum? Thanks. Again. And the last one, I don't have a lot to offer you, but I really enjoy your videos. So please accept this 50 pence piece as a token of sponsorship. And that was from little Timmy, A7. Timmy, that's very, very kind of you. Most teams would either track someone down or give it to charity. Sod that. I've got dogs to feed and bills to pay. We're in the money. Oh, you are, Sam. But anyway, that's another chatting. Bollocks. Let's get the football. No. <laughs> Real Bedford still sit top of the league after 12 games where they've won 11, drawn none and lost one. Rob Sinclair, despite losing his first game of the season, for some reason he's not been sacked. I thought you would have sacked him for not going to season unbeaten, but he now has a 91.67 win percentage. This is how Real Bedford stats look like. I don't care about the mess. I don't give a fuck. Ah, oh, shit. Here we go again. 16th of the 4th, 2022. Letchworth Garden City Eagles 4. Bedford, Real Bedford 1. Luke Schimmel, Ronnie Bates and Shea Kelly were 2 with our goals on the day. So, with that all being said, let's get to the ground. Let's get some team news in. Let's get three points. And then let's... Let get the fuck out of here. Frustrated Saturday. Apologies for my anger in the game. Frustration is because we talk about levels, maintaining that level. You drop down to here, and to me, that's unacceptable. Looking around the room, you're here all the time. It has to be maintained. Today, I've got no rationale to tell you that you won't be up for this game. You have to be up for these games. But that's the same mindset you need to take into every game of football you play. You can't keep dropping up down like an escalator. You have to have personal standards. Picking up on it, it's just it's disappointing. Being here before with Shefford, being here with Stockfold. How good would it feel that you come off that pitch and you've been 100%? You've had a battle. You've won your personal tackles, you've won your headers, you took your chances. How good would that feel? This is about league now and you've got to be up for it. If you can't get up for these sort of games, look, there's not much technical detail I need to give you to go and play this stuff because it'll be about being mentally strong. When to make a tackle, when not to dive in, not to give a silly tackle away. This game now is about fucking winning the game and open play. Let's go, dude. Let's go, boys. Come on. Thank you, goalkeeper. Sam James. I'm Indoor Sunny, defender. Pepsi Thomas, defender. Theo Nook, defender. Vlad is just gone for Mike Smith, midfielder. Danny Charles, midfield. Carl Osborne, midfielder. Mark Summers, striker. Soji Brilliant, midfielder. 
Harry got in the midfielder. Nicolo is a defender. Holly Trot, midfielder. Fuzzy Cookman, midfielder. And we all Bedford get this game underway with Summers looking to close down to get an early quick goal in so we can all relax. A 1 2 play with the throw in as the ball's played into the box, away by Adoy. Half a chance. First shot of the game, nothing Nathan can't handle. Real Bedford looking comfortable on the ball as they keep a composure as they look to go back to restart. One ball's been played straight through the middle. The non league Patrick Vieira and the strongest vegan in the world miles apart with each other. Penalty shot for Real Bedford, but the remaining Usain Bolt saying, Get up, you sausage. Number nine from Real Bedford looking to beat the door as he dummies one way, shimmies the other way. Ball into the box, Nathan's fumbled, and it's a free header. Flav absolutely missed that and they will be kicking themselves. Real Bedford on the attack once again as they look to break down the wall that is stronger than Donald Trump's would have ever been. Keeping composure, a little bit of nice play. There's number four is looking to drive and he gives it straight to flat. How much are you on? And you do balls like that. And we will now try and break, here we go. With Gorgeous George cuts in on one, cuts in on two. Look at this, total football as he plays into the non-league patch of Vieira, who plays a ball over the top to the new Alexander Kleb. He's slowing it down. He's looking for his options, but he will still turn you in a phone box. As he skins past the Bedford player, ball's crossed in, it's headed away, but Sammy James decides to have a little lie down. Bless it, free kick to Real Bedford. Oh, was that an ball by the Kiwi International? Doyle lifts it long. That's a fantastic touch by Gorgeous George. I spoke to you soon. One way traffic again as Real Bedford on the attack with the lovely one two plays. The switch of the play to number seven. Lovely little break in the line there as number two plays the ball in across the goal line. Oh, if anyone's there, it's a tap in away by Dempsey. Couple of the chats for Ann Ball. Seven's cutting in, they're trying to break them lines again. He'll play it back out to number two. But the remaining Usain Bolt does not have any of it. He cuts back inside and lifts it long. He can't relax. Ball whipped in by Real Bedford. Flick up to the header. Nathan, safe hands. If England's number one, if you've got the two foot tall. Ball played through to number nine as Adoy loses his foot in. And that's another glorious chance wasted by them. He's rattled easily, though. Well, it's a bad time we was in there after. I was getting a stiff neck looking one way. And it's not the kind of stiffy I enjoy. As we've just give the ball away straight from the throw in. Oh, here we go. My stiff neck's coming back into play. Yep, as they cross our halfway line. And it's a one on one foot race between the Doy and Anger issues. As he cuts inside, but Doy has recovered well. We have got numbers back to defend this. We have Bedford are not giving up as they are pushing forward, trying to find this opening goal. The ball's played in behind non league Patrick Vieira. Oh, it's a kerfuffle. And we've just managed to clear our lines. Anything could have happened there. And here we go, once again, we're on the attack. Total football, we're just giving them an head start. Now we're going to turn it on right now, like a light switch. As Sammy James has seen the remaining Usain Bolt on his bike. Can he have a little jump? Nope, he doesn't challenge with the goalkeeper. And Real Bedford will clear the ball upfield. Well, that was an entertaining minute. Another mistake by us at the back has put number nine through, who's got an easy goal to score, and he's put Real Bedford 1-0 up. Again, we cannot keep composure, and our own worst enemy strikes again. I'm definitely going to need a neurosurgeon after this first half. Poor clearance from us as Real Bedford are searching for the second goal, and it's smashed over the bar. 
your composure is just about as good as us. The non league Patrick Vieira skipped past the challenge as Summers has lost his man, but the ball played in is not good enough and will be cleared by Real Bedford. And a referee will call time on the first half. Let's Island City Eagles nil. Real Bedford won. We have done so well out of possession. When we win the ball back, we've got to maintain the fucking ball. In the ball back, we're going long. We know it's going to be a fucking battle. You're still in it. 1 0. So it's this game of peace, and that's all it is. They're trying flicks and tricks, nothing's really working. Ultimately, there's not much in between the two teams bar mistakes. We've got to have composure on the ball. Football is getting the ball down the pain. We're playing too much football in front of them, not enough behind. So do you not want me to make third round runs? Summers are coming to set. Summers ain't said nothing. I don't look too strong game you're watching. If I don't press the six, the freeze just behind me so that's why I'm staying back from the three. Right, we're complicating our situation. Listen, if they got the ball here, that's our forwards to press. Yeah. If the ball comes in midfield, <coughs> midfield press. If the ball goes to a fullback, why the fuck is our midfield going that way? Because then you're gonna leave a big gap here. That's what they're doing. They're playing in little gaps. This is not a fucking conversation. It's not a training session. It's a game of fucking football. We're asking you to do simple things. There ain't no debate about it. They're very clever, they're experienced players. They're moving you like fucking puppets. And when you come out of a pocket, someone else is going there. So we stay where we're supposed to be, we ain't going to have problems, please. And the referee will signal for the second half to get underway as Gorgeous George will play into a door, trying to shoot from the halfway line. Might as well. Dempsey's got a battle on his hands as he looks to stop this cross coming in, and there is Slab Air calls you like with the block. Midfield too far away again as the shot is lined up and it's rifled over the bar. Corner from Real Bedford whipped in. He's somehow gone to the back post as number five as a strike. Oh, is that handball? The referee's looking right at it. But again, our defence at six and sevens. And big time money banks to give the ball away again. If I was you, mate, I'd look at their contracts. And that's a tackle from behind. That's a foul all day long, ref. No. Nope. Obviously, you're on the old take, then, as well. Real Bedford look to play a little one, two, and set. But Adoy says not today. As the new Alexander Kleb will carry this ball forward. Playing up to Sunny, and oh my god, we are in Real Bedford's half. What a time to be alive! As Sammy James looks to make that back post, Sunny does not beat the first man with the initial cross. It's now a foot race between number 11 Sammy James and number 11 will claim this ball as calmly he plays it back. Oh, there's been a bad touch from Rusev. Hang on, he's trying to give him a hug on the pitch. Wait till the shower, you sausage. And the new Alexander Kleb will smash it straight at the wall. Oh, that hurts. Corner to us. As Dempsey tries to knock it in with his cock and then just knocks it over the bar. We're feeling all right. We're in there half a little bit. What's going on here? Across from Bedford's right hand side. Slabhead doesn't get connection on the first header. And it's. Wow, that has got to be the miss of the season. You are shit. Trotty to play this ball out to the remaining Usain Bolt. He looks to have a little turn. Can he deliver? My Bruce is walking in the box. There's no one to play the ball into the box. He's not had a little whip. And we've lost possession. No support in the box from across the ball. Ball given away as Real Bedford will look to claim this. Number nine has just done two of our players. The non-league patch of Vieira and Slabed. Quick transition as the ball is played diagonally over. We've got a work cut out for us, but we've got men in numbers. We should be able to defend this, surely. As Dempsey nearly gets put on his ass, the ball's played into the back post. And it's an easy header in. What, what, what the fuck just happened there, lad? Seriously. We're on attack, and now we're losing 2 0. Far too casual for us there as Adoy and Slabber get in each other's way, and that's a penalty. Un fucking believable. The sub who's just come on from 12 yards smashes it over the bar. Let's take an action replay at that. LOL! Dempsey looking to stop this cross as the ball is played in. It's hit off a hill, and it's hit the bar and gone over for a corner. And look, that's it. Proven two balls on the pitches. We need this game called off. The result demolished due to Real Bedford using two balls on the pitch. So why they put in one ball in our goal? We was clearly up the other end in possession, but the referee decided not to take any notice of that. Stewart's inquiry, I want the CIA, the FBI, the IAB, the ABC, the 123 to look into this right now. Sorry, someone's just handed me a brown envelope. No, play on. Everything's all right. Don't worry about it. With 30 seconds remaining of this game, number nine is rattled yet again. You want to calm down on those roid pills, mate. It's doing you no good. The world is not your enemy. We are not your enemy. Do you want a hug? I think you just need to have a big hug and have a tell and tell you. Oh, and that's full time. Pleasure Garden City Eagles nil. Real Bedford 
to. Getting fucking tired of playing about decision making. Fucking decision making in the right areas. We're one fucking nil down. We can't cross the fucking ball. Decision making. Doing the right things on the pitch at the right moments of the game. That's disappointing. We work hard every fucking week. Selection, session planning, training. Gets to a stage where we have to start saying, have we got the right players? That game near was about mistakes and being brave. We weren't brave on the ball first half. We made mistakes first and second half and they capitalised on them. That's what you, the difference in quality, there's no difference in quality. That was giving away the ball as much as you guys were. So that tells you your even side. They just took their opportunities when you gave it to them. That is the difference. One ball, the second one, goes out to a full back. One long ball, comes across one goal. How the fuck's that? And we got three at the back. What's happening shuffling across? What's happening don't let the ball back to the defender? This is all learning. We're all learning. I'm learning. So if you guys are static, some of you ain't learned since you've been here. Some of you have been there two years, ain't learned nothing. With all the coaching that we've been giving you, still play exactly the same way. If you're not learning, give up the game. In my opinion, football's all about evolving. If you're not evolving as a human being and as a footballer, why are you doing it? We're about improving you. We're giving you all the information. We're giving you all the facilities to be better players. And some of you are just static. No improvement. How are we supposed to improve as a team if we ain't improving as a but some of you got to look at yourself. You surround yourself around people who tell you how fucking good you are and you're not as good as they tell you. That is the truth. Everyone's bigging you up. Your head's blown, your ego's massive and you're not as good as people tell you are. And the only way you're going to become that good, humble yourself. Get the ball and play. Some of you don't want to have five players, can't be both track back, can't be both to mark, let the ball bounce in defence. That's bullshit. When you go home, have a look here. Think think about what we're doing here, gents. For me, Jason's beckons that we should look at other players. We've got the team here. you all got ability. We believe in but humble yourself don't come here thinking that you're better than what you are because that team there shouldn't be beating you today no way mistake lost you that game Sammy unfortunately a 2-0 loss today where do you think it all went wrong for the boys individual mistakes really I think we matched them for large parts of the game they gave the ball away as much as we did the difference was when they got it in dangerous positions they took the chances that we gave them and we didn't take any of the ones that we managed to create if you don't take your chances you ain't going to win the game and they did fair play to them we've got a busy run in still with a Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday. How do the boys stay focused and try and pick themselves up after this defeat? Well, at the end of the day, they're at the top of the league for a reason. You can't be too downhearted about it. We matched them for large parts. We've just got to take the positives and obviously work hard again Thursday and put it right on Saturday against Rushton. So the game finished, let's with Garden City Eagles, nil, Real Bedford. So first half, I can't fault the boys for their effort off the ball. We worked hard. And then the second half, wow. Real Bedford has got to stand for real big time. The amount of times that they cried and whinged and moaned and bitched towards the ref and the officials and unfortunately it did work sometimes the art of intimidation can win new games and it's quite funny knowing that a team that is paying top dollar at this level where the players should be playing at least two three levels above are easily rattled their bench i had all five of them on and up every single one of them was nibbling one of the easiest teams to wind up and once again we're our own worst enemy and unfortunately that has been a story of our season even going back to last season you just never know what Letchworth team's going to turn up I guess that's what makes it exciting about football we are so unpredictable that's why you should make sure you get down to watch us but I do wish Real Bedford all the best in the future as you become the new hashtag United you know what to do make sure you like subscribe share the video absolutely everywhere so until next time tala Don't lift you up, we'll let you down, then we're gonna ride, cause I too, <laughs> say goodbye.